Yes, good morning, good morning class and uh, welcome to our second lesson in chemistry. Remember last time I introduced organic chemistry one. So today we want to see how far you can extend and uh, adjust to what we talked about last time. So today, it's time for chemistry. It's time for chemistry. And uh, we are still under the topic organic chemistry one. Organic. Organic chemistry one and uh, remember I say the more what comes to mind when you get something here, organic chemistry remember you have hydrogen atoms and carbon atoms and also you see the study of hydrocarbons so last time I remember we stopped at where we wrote about the general formulas of these hydrocarbons you don't ask maybe to measure on each one of them and see how we generate these formulas in those homologous gas series now for instance we are going to give you what we call the alkanes. The alkanes, of which we say that the general formula is Cn H2n plus 2. That is the general formula for the alkanes. And remember, this homologous series, homologous series, each series of these hydrocarbons has 10. Uh, compounds. It has ten compounds. Each series has ten compounds. Right from if you try from right from the first one up to the tenth one and try to generate these formulas. So I'm not too fast, and I hope you understand now. Here, yeah. So the first compound or the first hydrocarbon in this series of alkanes, we have what we call methane. We have methane. Number two, we have ethane. Number three, we have propane. Number four, we have butane. Number five, here. Number five, we have pentane. Number six, we have hexane. Number seven, we have heptane. Number eight, we have octane. Okay, sorry. Number nine, we have nonane. And number ten, we have uh, decane. Number ten, we have decane. Under the alkanes, these are the major hydrocarbons under this first group of hydrocarbons, of which they have a general formula of Cn H2n plus two. Now, today I'm going to show you how. We come up with the, uh, the molecular formula for these hydrocarbons using the what? Using the general formula. For instance, uh, let me choose one at, a, at random. Let me choose heptane. Let us write the general formula of the, of the molecular formula of this heptane. Here we are. Remember, N, this N stands for the position of that particular hydrocarbon in the series. Are you together, class? Yes, I've said this, I repeat. N stands for the strategic position of that hydrocarbon in the series. Now, here we are. So I just said the formula for the what? For heptane. And remember, we said that the general formula is Cn H2n plus 2. So keep that in mind. And how now do we apply this formula? Here we are. I'm going to take heptane. So heptane is number 7. So wherever we have this letter N, we write the strategic position of that particular hydrocarbon on the series. So we have C7, H2, remember this is N, multiply by 7, plus 2. So let's get our figures now. We have C7, H14, plus 2. So we have C7, H, what? What is 14 plus 2? Should be 16. H16. That is the molecular formula for heptane as a hydrocarbon belonging now to this series of hydrocarbon called the alkanes. So I stop there. You can uh, as well try as many examples as you can. You can write for the rest and bring your books for marking. Have a blessed day and let's keep on studying chemistry. It happens to be one of the easiest subjects around. So but unless there's someone who has a question and needs a clarification for any of the content that I've just delivered. Have a blessed day.